I would spend the extra hour, which I would normally use to drive to and fro work, to so study for my CSA from January and I passed in June. Also, my kids now understand my native language Yoruba, which is as a result of the extra full time spent bonding. Hi, my name is Bridget. I'm a cyber analyst from Deloitte Australia, and since working from home and cut back my commute towards the office, I'm able to focus on my certified in risk and information systems controls. One of the things I picked up during the pandemic is a virtual event certification. I'm happy to host Zoom events. Additionally, I'm an audiobook narrator. I learned how to create interesting dashboards using Power BI and wrote an article on digital immigrants. I spend my extra time for increasing my knowledge and gaining more certifications, as well as organizing webinar sessions in Sakra Master Chapter. Keep studying, because time never comes back. I gave a presentation at the EuroCAT in Geneva in 2019 about AI analytics. In the pandemic, I transformed what I talked about there and then into the company B4 Investigate here and now. I invested my time during the quarantine in attending various webinars that were organized by Isaka, as well as keeping in touch with others in my industry through LinkedIn. During pandemic, while working remotely, I use my extra time to get CISA certificate in order to boost my career. I also joined Isaac online webinars to deepen my knowledge. The one thing I have done in this lockdown was to articulate my real life conversations into a write-up and contribute it as an informative blog. I thank Isaka for giving me this opportunity to publish my blog as it has helped many customers in solving their data security concerns and getting connected with me. This pandemic gave me the opportunity to set up Women in Cyber Security Pakistan Affiliate. I say pandemic gave us lemons, I made lemons.